Hello everyone. This video presents the back EMF test of the benchmark servo motor that we use in permanent magnet motors drive and control course. So here at the right hand side of the bench you can see the benchmark servo motor and at the left hand side we have an induction motor that I am going to set the rotor speed of the induction motor equal to a specific value in this case equal to 600 rpm and measure the RMS value of the line to line voltage of the servo motor so here we have terminals of the servo motor these yellow wires and I measure the line to line voltage using this power analyzer also I use oscilloscope to plot waveforms of the line to line voltage the VAB and the VBC here we have three phase inverter we discussed the board during the course and here in this test I am using the space vector pulse width modulation to set the speed of the induction motor so let's run the motor and measure the quantities okay here we have the graphic user interface to communicate with the three phase inverter we discussed this during the course here we can set the speed of the rotor and run the motor so here let's measure the speed and run the induction motor we have increased in the speed so the set rpm the reference rpm is 600 and here as you can see we have this speed also you can see the wave forms of the VAB and VBC on oscilloscope yes here we have a zoomed view and also we can plot the waveform of the speed versus time okay so if I stop the motor you can see the rotor speed and here I can run the motor again okay so this induction motor has four poles and the frequency of the voltage corresponding to this speed the 600 is 20 hertz now let's connect the power analyzer let's turn on the power analyzer and measure the RMS value of the induced voltage the line to line so connect the device okay and plot the RMS value of the voltage so let's run the motor here you can see the RMS value of the line to line voltage the left y axis shows the voltage so here as you can see when we have increase in the rotor speed the RMS value of the induced voltage 
increases and this is the value corresponding to 600 rpm surely the value is 19.6 so using these numbers you can calculate the back emf constant of the motor okay However, I can increase the speed of the induction motor and measure other values. So let's stop. Okay. So simultaneously, we can measure the rotor speed and also the RMS value of the line to line voltage. Anyway, you can perform this test on your side and let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching